Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Innal hamdalillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udzubillahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyiati a'malina may yahdihillahu fala mudilla la wa may yudlil fala hadiya la. Asyhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la syarika la wa asyhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. Brothers and sisters alhamdulillah. Again we are back to this program. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the understanding about his deen, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, we know today, as Muslims, those who are active in da'wah, those who are active in their own Islamic organization, wherever you are, whatever name that you use, the important thing, you must learn the adab, the manners. How should we behave? among ourselves as good Muslim, as activists, as du'a. Now all of us are aware, as a da'i, as an activist Muslim, you know, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, wa ta'awanu ala birri wa taqwa, wa la ta'awanu ala al-isni wa al-udwa. The concept of this ummah is, we are ready to help each other, to complement each other, for the sake of Allah taqwa and anything that is good that bring to taqwa we must have an open mind to help each other now what do we understand by helping each other helping each other meaning if you know that there's a group of brothers and sisters who have been who have been doing a very good job in da'wah example they are taking care of the rewards they have good record they have a lot of experience, they have been doing this for years and years, maybe 10, 15, 20 years. Now you don't have to compete with them in this area anymore. What the awana mean you are helping us. If they are doing something and there's no problem and the, what they are doing is running smoothly, you don't have to come up with another way of doing it anymore. You just back them up. You may have your idea, but you focus in another area. Example, if one group is very good in calling people to Islam, you don't have to do that anymore. You concentrate in another area so that you can help each other. What area that you can help? Example, they may need financial help. You back up, back up them with some financial help. They may need material, you back them them up with material. They may need a people to have a backup system to have education for these privates. So you prepare classes. They call them, you prepare classes to back up. And that's how you help each other. But if you're trying to do the same thing that they're doing, you are competing. When you start to compete, you are trying to tell other people that you're better than the first group. If not, then why must you compete with them? There's no reason for you to compete. It's a waste of time. This is where the Ummah today have created a lot of fitna within ourselves. People are doing the thing before you come in. And now you come in and also you want to do the same thing. You duplicate. There's so many things for us to do in Islam. Why not we be more focused? Example, if this group they don't have the mean in the publication. You focus on publication. They don't have the media to cover their activity. This is where you come in with your media team. So you compliment each other. Not stabbing on each other's back. No, I have my way. My way is better. So you make people confused. There are so many groups doing the same thing. I don't know why. Why can't we be humble and accept the facts that if somebody is doing something good, we just support them and we concentrate in a different area. And that's how you help each other. But if you are doing the same thing, that means you are not helping each other. You are dividing the group. You are going back to the same group of people. You are calling their people to come and join you. And then they are going to abandon the first team their organization, their jama'ah, 
because you are coming out and corrupt their mind to tell them that I am more better come and join me and don't be with that group anymore I can pay you better well, this is where the shaitan come in because of money money corrupt because you think that you know better no, brothers and sisters as dua as activities remember there are two types of sins been committed by two creation of Allah the first sin created by mankind by Adam alayhi salam by eating the forbidden fruit but that sin was forgiven by Allah Rabbil Alameen after he repent what kind of sin is that? that is the sins of the desire in eating a food or eating something eating the forbidden fruit but jinn you know our enemy the jinn and shaitan he also commit one major sin what is the sin of satan of iblis the sin of pride adam commit a sin out of the desire of eating a forbidden fruit iblis commit a sin by having pride when Allah command him to prostrate to Adam he said Ana khairu minhu. that is the major sin of shaitan he is telling Allah he is better than Adam now the word I'm better than them I'm better than this group is from Satan good let Allah decide not you you don't claim that I'm better is Allah who will confirm who is better now Allah wants us to help each other if you think you are better you help them in a better way not to come in and introduce your product and then you sabotage other people's product this is not what Islam wants us to do and that's why we have a lot of confusion today from one group to another group more groups now we don't know what the public also are confused everybody claim they are sunnah 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 and they are stabbing each other they are gossiping each other they are backbiting each other is that what the sunnah want us to do and then we have followers again before you don't have any followers you get the followers from the first group of people and then now you call them to join you and then you create another fitna you claim that this is my follower now brother and sister how can you claim a person to become your follower when you don't even yeah start with them is somebody student and then you came in contact with them you call them to help you they help you and now you say that they belong to you this is another fitna and then when you do that that is where the ayah continue after wa ta'awanu ala birri wa taqwa wa la ta'awanu ala al-ithmi wal udwan you are not supposed to help each other for the sake of committing sin and the sin that you are going to commit first is you create enemy among yourself hatred among yourself now you become judgmental you are telling your group that you are the best you are better this is a fitna and then you are teaching the first group of people who was with their first group of jama'ah to leave their jama'ah and join you and now you are attacking them this is where the firqa comes in and Allah says وَأْتَسِمُ بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا when you are in the right path hold the the Quran and the Sunnah you hold on to the Quran and Sunnah you are not supposed to be divided again now we love to be divided the Ummah I do not know what kind of virus or disease is attacking the Ummah especially the Muslim organization so called Muslim organization so called Duat we are create a lot of fitna now you claim that they are, they are your student and now they belittle their sheikh and their organization and other groups that is the great thing
So brother and sister, we hope that we understand. If sincerely you want to do something for Allah, you do not come into a new area and try to do everything by yourself. You have to seek the advice from the local. You must have adapt. And if they tell you, okay, this is what we are doing, you don't have to concentrate in this area, you can concentrate in other areas. That's how you complement each other. We need each other. There's so much to do for Islam. So there are many angles that we can focus. Why we keep on focusing on things that people is doing? Why are we doing that? It's a waste of time, waste of energy. At the end of the day, you waste your money. And you waste the time of the people. They also get confused from one group to another group, one cause to another cause, and everybody is talking the same thing, only the way we present it may be different. Why do we have to do that? To be fair to all of you, brother and sister, you don't have this kind of fitna in the other group who are run by people who are not yet Muslim. We are the cause of the fitna. And that's why Allah said, in the Quran, MashaAllah, Allah the Creator who knows everything. We can hide, we can pretend, but Allah is there to tell us about the reality. Allah is telling us that those who are not believers, they always work, yeah, compliment each other, hand to hand. They work very closely among themselves. They don't compete with each other. They don't duplicate. They don't duplicate the activities. And if you Muslim who claim to be the best nation, especially the du'a, the activists, if you don't work together as one team and be more focused on how to help each other, you are just competing, duplicating, then we are the cause of the fitna, we are the cause of the destruction on this earth. May Allah save us from further destruction and may Allah forgive us for what we have been doing that do not please Allah or we cause a lot of fitna, division, friction and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us Muslim who are very careful with what the Prophet said. Kullu Muslim ala Muslim haramun damuhu wa maluhu wa irdu. Every Muslim to another Muslim is sacred. Their blood, their wealth, and their dignity. So we have to learn how to respect and honor every one of us. And please don't ever step on each other. Don't ever backstep each other. Don't ever create fitna to each other. May Allah guide us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help those who have the intention to become a better Muslim. Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen Wa Bilahi Tawfiqi Wa Aqri Da'wana Walhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh